they said they're going to sue the governor. It's on Fox 25. I've now put it out. But I have the letter here if anybody... Yeah, today. Yeah, today. I, I, how, I, how many people have seen the letter online? I did. Because I, I'll, I can read the reunification long. plan. There's four, there's four steps to the reunification plan. The first one is that, um, that she will be brought to this JRI Susan Wayne Center for Excellence, which is in Connecticut. Um, DCF will support returning custody and just seeing to her parents if they do one of four, if they do all four of these things. Attend visits with Justine here at the Susan Wayne Center for Excellence. Follow through with the Tufts Medical Center care plan. Now, supposedly Tufts has care, but I believe that they have been able to diagnose but not yet treat. That may have changed over this week, but the last I heard from the Pelletiers, and people might have more current information, that they were able to diagnose Justine. They still can't share with Justine's parents what has happened, but that they have not yet treated. Justina for mitochondrial disease, but the mito team is back on the thing. They're doing some testing. Um, participate in family therapy and meet with DCF to review progress. I guess you the last one. You know, you're going to meet with people. You think you? But um, yeah, but put the whole family in therapy. Right. Yeah. So that's under distress. Under distress. <laughs> yes. Under duress. But that's where it stands today. Um, where it stands tomorrow, I don't know, and I know as much as a lot of you. Um, I wish Jim was here because Jim you know, could have done a little bit more. I was going to try and get Jennifer here, but I'm sure she went back to Connecticut. I didn't think of it before, and I didn't know they were going to be here today. Um, or I would have tried to get her here. But that's kind of where we are with that. To, to what Ed was saying about DCF, we all know what's been going on with DCF. Kids missing, kids dying, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, not fun stuff. See, this is why I don't like being on video. <laughs> not fun stuff. <laughs> Um, but if you look at it, I did a study because, you know, you get the SEIU 509, the SEIU, largest progressive union in the United States, probably the world, um, purely a political union, and they are the union of the DCF social workers. Oh dear, I didn't know that. SEIU 509. And, then and um, going to be the union of the Rhode Island Day Gift Right. Too. Yeah, and the Massachusetts daycare providers. That's another little thing that we got passed in Massachusetts too. They're trying to unionize daycare workers against their will. Um, if you take, if you get subsidies for daycare and you're a licensed daycare provider in Massachusetts, you now have to be a member of the union. It's not a choice, me? even if you're an independent contractor. No, that passed last year. That, that was so 2013. <laughs> that fight was so 2013. They declared that for people taking receiving Medicare, Medicaid for taking care of family members. I thought that was shut down not too long ago in the Supreme Court. Maybe, but they're saying that this is a third party thing, not family members. So, we have that. But, so I'm, I'm saying, not family members, daycare providers. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, it, Yes, you're not being forced to join a union to take care of your mom. Local family. That's not happening. Well, that, that did happen. That did happen in a that state. That did happen before. Right. That's what got shot down recently. So, Thank God. I wanted to find out because there, we don't have enough money to do what we need to do. Now, Massachusetts, as you probably all know, on a whole host of scoring things by Child Welfare League of America, by all these people that are not exactly right-wing, nut-job, conservative think tanks are ranked at the bottom or near the bottom on outcomes for children in child welfare in Massachusetts. At or near the bottom. It, it, like consistently, over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I said, you know, there's got to be data out there that shows what we spend on a per capita basis and where we rank. Because when you're doing, you know, when you're doing state to state analysis, you have to do it on a per capita basis by person. Because if you don't, then the numbers don't really work out. Because, you know, the big state spends a lot, the little state spends a little. So I went and I got all the, I found a place that had all of the budgets for 2010. Took all of those. I went to the census from 2010 and got all of the census numbers for 2010. Did my own calculations, spot checked like 10 of them after I sorted to make sure I was doing it right. Out of the 50 states, Massachusetts ranks 10th in per capita spend on child welfare. We rank last in outcomes. It's not the money. 
It's the system and the management of Deval Patrick. When Deval Patrick took over DCF and took over the state in January of 2007, Deval Patrick stopped reporting the number of children that died under DCF care for three straight years, starting with the 2006 numbers, which were the year before him. Stopped reporting them for three straight years. And he says he likes children. But it's not my fault. I do have to pay for it, whatever we do. It's gone up. We're having record numbers of children dying that are supposed to be being saved. This is a scandal. Never mind the Justina Pelletier stuff. This is a scandal beyond all scandals. This is not about money. This is about outcomes. And when I had a, I had a Twitter back and forth with the um, spokesman of SEIU 509 last week, where would you cut? Well, we should never cut anything. For, I'm not saying where we should cut the program totally. I'm giving you the same amount of money you had last year. Where would you cut the department to get more frontline people on the ground to get to the 15, to 15 cases per caseworker that you say you need? Where would you cut? Well, I don't know. Why don't you look where you'd cut? Because you're spending the. T I said, will you give me that you're spending? We're spending the tenth highest of any state, and we're getting the worst outcomes. We never answer that question because he knows the answer. Because if he says yes, then it becomes a story that it is yes. These people are out of their mind. It's not the money that we're spending. It's how we're spending the money. All right, I think it's, and I gotta go on, but it's 25% higher than the national average per capita we spend. 20% higher, 25% higher, almost to the dollar. You'd think I was fudging the numbers because it almost came out exactly 25%, but it was. 25% higher in Massachusetts, ranked 10, and that's of the average, not of the median. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And, you know, and Rob, I did a, a throwback Thursday, and I looked at a video that I created in my 2010 state rep race, and I was complaining about the fact that in 2010, our state budget was $25.6 billion. And now, four years later, they're proposing a $36.2 right, and, and, and billion. That's $10 yeah. billion dollars and in, in our population that's gone down. It's just only on budget. On budget. It's a little bit odd number, too, because they brought some more stuff on budget that wasn't. Like, and if you look at... If you if you look at taking all of the Department of Transportation stuff that used to be off budget and bring it back on budget, that number was actually closer to like 30 million back then. It, it just because of the way that you do it. Um, but it is it's it's 20 percent higher. Our budget is 20 percent higher. It's six thousand. You are spending every single one of you, and every single one of your kids, every single one of your grandkids, every single living soul in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts is spending six thousand dollars per person on their state government. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that, camera on YouTube, um, but I would. So, that, and that's the, that brings me to this point. And this, we're off Justine, we're off DCF. This is when I get in trouble. So you can keep the YouTube going. Um, yeah.